Hello everybody, in this video we're going to talk about cross sections of solids. So what is a cross section? Well, it is the intersection place of the plane or of a plane slicing through a solid and the solid itself. So in this video I have drawn solids, various types of solids in white and the plane that is slicing through our solid is in yellow and then the cross section that is formed is going to be in purple. So here we have three cubes and depending on where this cube is being sliced by the plane it's going to create a different cross section. So over here on the far left, we see that the, the cross section is slicing, or excuse me, the plane is slicing the, the cube just directly in half horizontally. So this is going to give us a square cross section. So that'd be our purple area there. Now for the second one, <coughs> we have our cross section that is slicing at a diagonal. So notice that the, or the plane is slicing at a diagonal. So notice the cross section that is formed is actually a rectangle in this case. Okay, And in the, the third cube, we have just a, a tiny plane that's slicing just an edge off of our cube, and it's actually going to create a triangle in its cross section. Okay, So we're going to look at some different examples of various shapes, and we're going to describe the shape that is formed from the plane intersecting the solid, and that's what we call the cross section. Okay, So for number one, we have a, a hemisphere here, and we have our, cross or our plane slicing straight through vertically into our shape. So the cross section that's going to be formed here is just going to be a semi-circle. Okay. For number two, notice we have one, two, three, four, and five sides on this shape. So this is going to be a pentagonal prism. And we are slicing this pentagonal prism directly in half horizontally. So our purple shape here will just be a pentagon. So it'd be a pentagonal cross section that's formed. Okay. Number three, we have a cube once again. Uh, but now we are slicing this cube at an angle from top to bottom, and notice the purple section here. It is creating a trapezoid, okay? So we have a cross section of a trapezoid there. For number four, we have a cone, and we are slicing it, kind of just like slicing the top of it, off of it. So if we look at that purple area there, that's going to create a circular cross section. All right, number five, we have a sphere, and so this sphere is being, being crossed right down the middle, it's being sliced right by, uh, right down the middle by this plane. So our cross section here is going to be a full circle. All right, number six, we're starting with a cylinder and we are just slicing off an edge of this cylinder. So our cross section here is actually going to be a rectangle. That's our purple section there. All right, last couple examples. Number seven, we have a triangular pyramid and we are slicing this pyramid, kind of like slicing the top of it, off of it again. So our purple cross section here will be in the shape of a triangle. And the last one for number eight, we have one, two, three, four, five, six sides. So this is a hexagonal prism. We are slicing it in half horizontally, so it is going to create a hexagon for its cross section. Okay, so that's how you identify cross sections of solids. <laughs> 